on high so they're a little bit brown but they'll be good anyway there goes our peppers and onions into it so now we're just going to stir all this up together hey y'all it's Tammy with Collard Valley Cooks today I'm making mama's potato salad I've already cut up the potatoes and boiled them. We're going to chop up a small onion. You can use a half of an onion if you don't have a small onion. Okay. So we're going to chop this onion up. And we're going to chop up a little bell pepper. And we're actually going to saute them. Because I don't like for them to be overpowering in my potato salad. This onion, I'm going to take the center out of because it's trying to sprout. See how it's got a, a little bit of a sprout on it? So we're going to take that out. Anyway, so now we're going to chop up this onion for our potato salad. We're also going to chop up a bell pepper, just a portion of a bell pepper, a couple of sleeves. So I'm just chopping up this onion to go in our potato salad. We're going to saute it with some peppers. Um, and I've got everything laid out we're going to need. You're going to need some sugar some sweet relish, some mustard, some mayonnaise, some sauteed peppers and onions, a couple, two to three boiled eggs, a tomato for color, some pepper, black pepper. Here, let's do our, um, we just want a couple of these, little slices of the bell pepper, okay? We'll do these right quick. We're going to get them in the skillet. And while these are sauteed in the skillet, we're going to put our potato salad, all the other ingredients in. And then once these, it'll give us time for these to saute a little bit, and then we'll throw them in, okay? Big bowl. Well, I'm going to throw my potatoes in here right quick. Here's our potatoes. They're already drained. And now we are going to peel a few eggs. You want to know how to make the perfect egg uh, that peels really easy. I've got plenty of videos on my page to show you how to do that on my channel. I showed the girls and guys on Facebook this morning. So let me show you how easy they are to peel when you cook them like I tell you to. It just slides right off, y'all. No worries pepper the onion we're sauteing it now we got six medium russet potatoes peeled and cut into walnut sizes you boil them 10 minutes on high you drain them you put in three boiled eggs and chop them up okay you add a cup of mayonnaise this is my recipe that's just like my mama's I'm filling up a cup of mayonnaise. Take a minute. It's a good bit. All right, there we go. Cup of mayonnaise. Now, we get a teaspoon of mustard. Now, if you want more, you can put more in there, but I use a teaspoon. So I have a teaspoon of salt. This is a half teaspoon, so we're going to put in two of these. Because there's a lot of potatoes in there, so you're going to need some salt, okay? Um, you're going to use some sweet relish. We're going to use a third cup of sweet pickle relish. I'm trying to go by my recipe, y'all, since it's going to be in my cookbook, okay? Instead of just throwing it in like I normally would. There's a third cup of pickle relish. All right. Now we're going to put in a teaspoon of sugar. There's a half. There's a teaspoon of sugar. Now we're going to put in a half teaspoon of pepper. Pepper. Okay, 
So let's see. We've got in the mayonnaise, we've got in the relish, we've got in the mustard, the sugar, the pepper, the salt. We're going to put in our sauteed peppers and onions. I'm on high, so they're a little bit brown, but they'll be good anyway. There goes our peppers and onions into it. And all we have left is the tomato. We fold it in last because it's put in there for color, and we do not want to um, beat it up too much, okay? So now we're just going to stir all this up together. My neighbors are cutting down a tree. You can hear their chainsaw, I'm sure. It's a good thing I closed the door. And you're just going to toss it. Now, the more you toss it, the softer it gets. So it's up to you how creamy you want it to look or be. Okay? But make sure you mix that sugar and that salt and that pepper and everything up in there good. Now, let's cut up with tomato. Let me show you how pretty it makes it. I think I'm out of tomatoes. I used my last one the other day and ate it. So I'll have to get Chris to pick me up a tomato. Y'all, I don't even have a tomato. I just, <laughs> I ate my last one with a cornbread last night. I love tomatoes. But anyway, if you chop up a tomato and put it in there in little cubes and then you mix it in, it makes it really pretty. And you can't really taste it that much. It's just really pretty, okay? So make sure you chop up a tomato in little, in little pieces, not real little, but pretty little, and mix it in there so it'll be pretty, okay? So I didn't even realize I had um, ate my last tomato, but, you know, that's life, ain't it? And always taste your food before you serve it. So I'm going to taste it since this is my recipe. Let's taste it and see how it tastes in Facebook. It's good. I think I have a few more potatoes than what my recipe called for because I'm cooking for a pretty big crowd. It's still absolutely delicious. It really don't need anything. It's good, y'all. Y'all should try my recipe. You'll be pleased. Um, try not to get your peppers and onions as dark as I did. But y'all won't be videoing so y'all can pay more attention. Thanks for watching Color Valley Cooks where we cook like our mamas did. Bye, y'all. Now, when I make dressing, I do not saute my peppers and onions. I've had people ask me why. In potato salad, it's not cooked in the oven, and so the onions and the uh, peppers do not have time to get soft, so I do like to saute them. But when you're making dressing, it cooks in the oven, it's nice and wet, and it ha and those things have time to uh, soften, and they actually taste better if you, because when you saute some, it gives it a milder flavor, so you really want a stronger flavor in your cornbread dressing. So you don't want to saute those vegetables for cornbread dressing, but you do want to saute those vegetables for potato salad.